Hey, what's up, cruise crew? We're kicking off a three-day epic adventure aboard Royal Caribbean's newest ship, the Utopia of the Seas, and we're on a mission to see if this is really the ultimate party cruise everyone's talking about, or if it's just all hype. Will it be wild and unforgettable, or too overwhelming for families? Stick around for this three-part series, because we're about to find out. All right, guys, we are here on the Utopia of the Seas, getting ready to board. Are you excited for this one? I'm very excited. I am too. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so much fun. Check this thing out. Freaking so big. Amazing. Not as big as it can, but it is beautiful. <laughs> I know we do have some new additions that are different from, yeah, from the Wonder. Yeah. Got the pesky parrot, which we are ready to try. That is we also are bringing like six new cruisers. Yes. All brand new, new to cruising. They've seen us do it so many times. So try. They want to try it. So and we're excited to see them we try. We are excited. They've already been Amazed. impressed. Yes. Yeah. So here we go, guys. We are about to get on. Oh my goodness. Check this out. Here we go. Utopia of the seas. Hello. Utopia. Uh, you know, stepping on board always feels amazing, especially when the ship's as massive as Utopia. Now it's time to go track down the crew and get this party started. But before we dive into the fun, we have to make sure we're all set with the muster drill. All it takes is a quick scan and a beep, and you're done. Now let's get to the fun stuff. All right, we're done with the muster. That was very quick, painless. Yeah, that was the easiest Super easy. Thing. We're gonna head over to the pub, pick up the last two friends yep. who we haven't found yet, and uh, go from there. Yes. Now that we found everyone, it's time to grab some food. We're heading to El Loco Fresh for some quick tacos, burritos, and nachos. And right next door is Cantina Fresca, where you can sip on handcrafted margaritas and a classic Mexican beer, a perfect combo to kick off the day. So we just got done eating some El Loco Fresh, and now we're at that Cantina bar. And I got me a margarita, and it's my third drink of the day. But this is like the best margarita because they have the handcrafted. They muddle it and everything. It doesn't have the sour. I hate sour. So this is my favorite. So I always come up here. So, you know, El Loco Fresh is always a good option when you want to avoid the old crowd and uh, avoid the uh, buffet, because you know how that is. Anyway, I'm going to head up to the uh, Lime and Coconut and see if I can find me a drink. I think I want a Goombe Smash, because I'm not feeling the margarita today. So this is one of three Lime and Coconut bars here on the Utopia of the Seas. These bars are perfect for tropical drinks, like one of my favorites, the Goombe Smash. It's a blend of dark rum, coconut rum, light rum, mixed with pineapple and orange juice, giving it a sweet tropical flavor with a hint of citrus. Fruity, refreshing, and smooth. Just the right mix for soaking up the poolside vibes or kicking off a sailway party. All right, it's time to check out our home for the next few days. We're in an Ocean View stateroom with a balcony, room 10704. Welcome to our room, which is 10704, which is a balcony stateroom. And our bed is gonna be towards the balcony this time. So when you come in, you got your full length mirror. You have your seating area, which has two international. You have three US plugs, and then you have USB-C and USB-A. You have your backlit mirror for your vanity, and you have your storage area, which has big drawers. I mean, you have one, two, three, four, five big drawers, and they're nice. And then you have your refrigerator, which I believe is, yes, it is cold. It's not just a cooler. Then you got your couch, which is nice and fluffy because it's brand new. You have your storage over here, which is a big closet, so no drawers. Also, we have this one, which has lots of area. You have your safe shelves, and you can put your dresses, and you have two big drawers here, which makes it nice. Also, you should get a fan like this. So I got this fan because of travel spray, and it is freaking amazing to take. Folds up to just a little. Actually, I'm going to show you because it's really freaking sweet. So it just folds down, folds down like that, and then you just charge it with the C to C. But it's really sweet. And then we have our little nightstand here, and it has a regular plug, and then it has a C plug. And then we have our king size bed, queen, king size, I don't know, and your TV. And you have another nightstand on that side, which has the same outlets over there, same everything. And then you have your balcony which is pretty big. And you got your chairs with your footstools you can pull out here. And you got a nice sized table. And that's it. That. Pretty sweet. So you got your bathroom, which is pretty standard. <laughs> I mean, hard shower. And then it comes with just um, hair and body wash. And then you got shelving. You got shelves down here. And that's pretty basic. I mean, that's the job. 
<laughs> and this is our room tour for 10704. Alrighty, I got the room all set up, ready to go. We're gonna head up to the pool deck, get a jump start. So freaking hot! Today. It is. It is super hot. It's brutal oh, out there. I know. Jelly, those are so cool. Jellyfish. Anyway, it's uh 2:30, so uh, yeah, we're making good time here. And like that, we are back in the room. They really tried to pull a carnival level sail away and it was good. As you saw, there was a lot of dancing. Everybody was having a good time. So now we need to get ready for dinner. We're gonna go head to the main dining room, see what we have for this evening's dinner. It's like really tight. We gotta go fast. <laughs> Stephanie started things off with a spinach and artichoke dip served with tortilla chips, while I went for the crispy crab cake. And of course, I grabbed some escargot to share with the table, which the guests with more adventurous palates seemed to enjoy. For the mains, I had the pan-roasted fish fillet, while Stephanie got the southern fried chicken. Then came the dessert. Since we were celebrating our 26th wedding anniversary, they brought us a piece of Boston cream pie to mark the occasion. But we didn't stop there. Stephanie indulged in a dark chocolate custard and a peanut caramel bar while I wrapped things up with a slice of key lime pie. After an amazing dinner, it was definitely time for some serious drinks and the mason jar was just the spot. The girls absolutely fell in love with the Mississippi moonlight. Old smoky blackberry moonshine mixed with fresh blackberries and topped with lemonade. Sweet, fruity, and incredibly refreshing. The Far From Manhattan really stood out as a favorite. Featuring brown sugar bourbon, Angostura bitters, and a slice of candy bacon, it's rich, sweet, and totally unique. And of course, I had to go with the smoked old fashioned. Bourbon, bitters, and a hint of orange, all infused with that bold, smoky flavor. And we took in all this while listening to the Country Trio Band live, which set the perfect vibe for the night. All right, we are up here at the Mason Jar having some delicious drinks. Band just got done playing. I couldn't include it anyway because good old copyrights. But as you saw in the B-roll earlier, we're just hanging out, having some good drinks. Yeah, yeah. Stop your shirt. Yeah, I told you I, I wasn't going to put this guy in the vlog, but <laughs> look at this ridiculous outfit that he wore. Yeah. Right. <laughs> just a fan. All right. You got one, too. All right. All right. Another fan. These guys are crazy. It's so funny. It's been awesome, though. Music's been great. Atmosphere is good. So far, the cruise has been awesome. Oh my, oh my God, God. we're your biggest fans. I hate you guys oh. right now. I hate Chris, you guys. Can, can you stop my boarding pass, please? <laughs> <laughs> it's not you, you, what? You're your biggest fans. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Again, you absolutely have to check out the Mason Jar for drinks and live music. It's a must. And remember, you don't need a reservation if you're going to the bar area. Also, I'd recommend securing a seat a little bit before the band starts playing because it tends to get crowded once they start. Now it's time for tonight's show. We're heading over to the Royal Theater to see All In. This show isn't just about stunts and music. It's got drones, guys. They fuse technology with live performances in a truly unique way. Royal Caribbean really knows how to deliver top-notch entertainment. I highly recommend catching all the shows when you're on the Utopia. Let's see how it all comes together.
after that incredible show, we're heading over to the music hall for some live classic rock music. We absolutely loved this venue on the Icon and thought it would be a perfect fit for our group. And boy, we were right. With a live cover band and an awesome crowd, it's the perfect way to keep the energy high after the show. And also, if you're getting any value from the content, please hit that like button. It really helps the channel, and we thank you so much. All right, well, that was a good time there at the uh, music hall. We're going to head down and grab us some pizza or some snacks. We're going to see what we can get on the promenade. <laughs> And of course, we're wrapping up the night the right way with some late night Sorrento's pizza. No cruise is complete without grabbing a slice after a fun night. If you haven't already, we'd love to invite you to click that subscribe button and join the cruise crew so you don't miss the rest of the adventure. And let us know in the comments, have you been on the Utopia? Do you think it's more of a party ship or still a family cruise? Share your thoughts, because we'd love to hear from you. Oh crap. 10709. <laughs> if you're still here and you can't wait for the next one, check this out. We know you'll love it. Subscribe to our channel. All right, cruisers. We'll see you in the next one.